Let's give it a shot. So on the left hand side is our asset folder source file screenshots which has this attractive picture of a space background which is amplified on the right. Furthermore we have mp4 footage which includes things like this. We also have on the right hand side music that's been composed and also we have a drum track that's been composed also we've had an effect composed using this music here which sounds like but when it's run through an effect, it sounds like this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Vision and Sound Part 1, Emo Aware into Rising Listen. <clears throat> in today's episode, we combined all of those elements into a video like this. Like that. We re entered by reflecting. We just completed a major uh, conference presentation and a video edit of the conference presentation. It was a series called Comp Composing for the New Era. And we wanted to begin a new series in this Twitch stream called Composing in Vision and Sound. We'd also done some additional reading, Principles of Animation and Visual Design. It's a gorgeous article, things like slow in and slow out, appeal, staging. And we wanted to more consciously apply those principles because we realized we have been applying them. <clears throat> so we ended up spending this episode composing, starting with this footage that we alluded to. We had already taken all of this footage, video footage and stills uh, several, several weeks ago uh, relative to this series. And we now were faced with the interesting creative challenge of composing some music to go with it. <clears throat> so we brainstormed a little bit on what would, the, 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 the event was called Space Party, Metaverse Space Party. So what kind of music would go with it? So we brainstormed, you know, 50s music, 50s movies, TV, uh, corny comedies and serious comedies and so forth. And we ended up, uh, we wanted, we knew that we wanted to use our, what we're calling our Raga scale in two modes. We're still developing that technique. This is custom scale 13 and 14. It's either a two, three, th it's a based on C or it's based on A flat, but it's the same notes. So this is what we came up with to start. Uh, originally we just used the this which is six seconds and we just played that over and over and over again while we looked at the still shots here <clears throat> we have a still shot track which would turn into a visual storyboard a visual storyboard then we expanded this into four figures So it, it ends, and now it's the different part of the scale. And then a different end note. Duh, duh. 
and we so we did that. Then we went back and we added a. We ended up calling it the slow melody at the beginning. We knew we just wanted some kind of fundamental bass note being picked out. So now it sounded like this. So if you play those notes, you, you can tell you're getting um, kind of a slow melody. Duh. Da, da, da. So what we did then is we took this and we we laid that against the video. And by that time, we had called down 20-some screenshots into 18 screenshots that told a story from you know beginning to end. And then we had them, I think they're at six and a half seconds, and we said, okay, we want something... Uh, we had been up to 24 second music clips from from this 20 each the whole thing is 24 seconds if we uh, this whole thing is 24 seconds that's what we're trying to say and that's what we're trying to say so then we put it into five arcs well you can hardly see the arcs because there's so much rep repetition here however if we cleverly hide some of that it becomes evident that we're focusing on five arcs there they go one two three four five and this is what we call the slow melody we also change the timbre so that the uh, the sweep is is in there so if we own if we solo if we solo And let's kick up the speed a little bit so you can hear the. We, it's almost like you have to play this in in uh, fast motion to hear it. So that is the that's the slow melody that's underlying all of this, and there's also what we call aural spacing. So, for example, between each arc, the slow melody gets a trip, a dotted half and two holes, whereas within the phrase, it's a it's a dotted half hole and a half, and and it fits well when you let the rest of it play, which is. Remember, we're at, we're, at, we're at quadruple speed. So that gets a really, really interesting effect. So let's just put this back to where it belongs. So that gave us our core melody that was a... a 124 seconds long, which is just what we needed to, to match this, uh, the video. So we put that in there, we got it working, and then what we did is we, as we discussed, we replaced every, every place that we had a, uh, a still shot, we had matching movies to go with it, like this. But then... We wanted to do a little bit more, and so we took the score, this score, and we exported it not only as an MP3 file, which we put as the first music track. Let's show you that, because this was a new technique. This is, we basically used our existing and then extended our techniques. So here, we ended up having not only the music track, but the Vocaloid music track and a drum music track. So we ended up uh, overlaying these tracks and you see that, for example, the drum starts at a bass sound volume level, then we drop it in the middle and then kick it back up for the ending. 
and the same thing with what we call the vocaloid effect here. This one had a progressive drop and then totally silent and then a progressive increase back at the end. Whereas the the music you just heard, the score music, we just left it steady all the way across. And what that did is by layering the three music tracks, we had a high volume, uh, a, a gradual drop to a mid volume, and then a gradual increase back to a grand ending volume, um, which was another kind of cool thing to do, we feel. Now, how did we get those extra tracks? As we said, we exported... Um, in addition to being able to export mp3s, you can also export mp3s, but you can also export MIDI like that. And once you have a MIDI file, you can drop it here in Ableton, which is one of our newest tools I've been using. So this, this tool up here is the, the figure. But we did an interesting thing to it because it's a vocaloid effect and we had learned because we were messing around with it we it has to have words in there because it's vocalizing words so this is phonetically spelled mimi's metaverse space party mimi's metaverse space party which is the name of the video mimi's metaverse space party so the uh, <laughs> The cute little elf girl is singing that as fast as she can. See it running across there? Like that. And then we did the same thing here for the the uh, the slow melody. The slow melody sounds like this. So that was fun. And then after we laid that in, like we said, that was we, we did those two together. So that's this, the, the Vocaloid track down here. That's the Vocaloid music track. Then finally, we listened to it. We, we kept queuing, you know, rendering the video and queuing it. And we said, we just need some kind of percussion. <clears throat> now we have composed percussion tracks, but frankly, uh, it's slow going. We're still upping our game in composing percussion tracks from scratch. But in doing one of the tutorials on Ableton, we knew that they had clips like this. So like they have built-in drum clips. And we ended up using something called Busy, Busy, Busy something. What do we call it? This one. Now, now we could have we could have used something else like, but that's not a drum. Anyway, so basically we just took uh, busy one two three and popped it in here and repeated it as many times as we had, shamelessly to fit the music. And at the very end, because we had learned again taking tutorial how to edit edit something that's in MIDI. Something in MIDI. Okay, just remind us how we... Oh, here it is. Down here, that, that and then we had to remind ourselves how this silly thing works and came in here and clipped off the end of it so that it sounded right. And so we ended up with... Tum -da -da -da, as we said... Now the original music is in 120 and this, we just threw it in there, that's 123. So we declared we were gonna happy with that. And so what we're gonna do to bring us home is play this whole thing for you, the video that is, um, as finally composited. So here we go.
so that ends today's stream. What we like about this video rendering is we feel it's an excellent start in kicking off the new series, Composing in Vision and Sound. We also like getting it off our prioritized vid edit list because there's a final vid edit that we're like really, really looking forward to. Um, and we like that we upped our game, uh, that wavy title thing. We haven't done that before, although we did investigate the wave effect in the series just completed in one of the episodes. Um, we like, I don't know if you heard how that, at the very end, the volume came back in. Um, and then also, this video is done for some associates in the metaverse, and uh, we know that they're going to appreciate it very much because there's a lot of in references there. A lot of those characters that we uh, featured are our regular denizens of that particular metaverse platform. So we'd like to give a, a, a acknowledgments, a shout out to Black Strish who came back, um, Depange in DC who published the animation notes, the principles of Disney animation, which we are now more consciously applying, Mimi who for Mimi's metaverse space party, Mr. Spatz came back, Silent Lurker, and new subscriber. Um, uh, so I guess really <laughs> our goal was to recap this episode and show how a recap is made, but we ended up doing it here. So it's T TBD is going to be our next thing. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.